welcome back to my channel in this session we will see if we have a oscilloscope and it is showing some random voltage without any signal how we can detect this issue and what are the possible causes for that fault I have this high and low side probe set this test probe to 1x and connect high and low signal together and now press auto set it is showing zero line peak to peak 12 millivolt that is okay if it is showing more than this some more voltage 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt what will the possible causes and how we can locate it if it is showing here some voltage move to the next channel make auto set and this time it must select channel 2 channel 1 off channel 2 on it is also 0 because this time we are not providing any signal so that is reason it is showing it is not selecting channel 2 because we are routing ground if it is open at that time when we will press auto set it will select automatically channel 2 because channel 2 is now open and it signals now it must select channel 1 because there is no signal present at channel 1 channel 2 if this probe is giving the same result here and here if I'm connecting this probe here and we are finding some voltage here but the same technique it is not giving voltage here so that means the probe is good we have problem in oscilloscope what is the possible area of the fault let's discuss it is a comment from my viewer crystal services sir can you help to resolve my DSO Regol 1052E the problem is one channel showing some voltage without connecting any probe to it second channel is working fine what can be the problem sir help to troubleshoot this is a concept for the time based signal the time based circuit the voltage attenuator circuit that is for the range selection when we apply signal we apply signal here high and low this low signal is provided here then we have voltage divider network any type of cathode ray scope DSO MSO MDO DPO any signal whichever you have we have a common line we have outputs from the voltage divider network we apply signal here high and low on the probe but the signal will transfer to the next circuit with respect to this common point this low side after that this signal is provided to some operational amplifier for amplification here it have some reference then it has some feedback and zero adjust null adjust DC offset zero adjust so this adjustment here will provide it to some potentiometer that is trim port ground and positive voltage and we will provide here a null signal sorry not here from here so without any signal this operational amplifier must be zero it must not have any DC offset for that purpose the DC offset potentiometer is used here if you see here we apply signal here at this point this signal will come to the voltage divider networks 10, 100 time attenuator 10 time attenuator these voltage will pass through different configurations and then these voltage will reach to these MOSFETs that are the pre-amplifiers the signal amplifiers because any signal here is attenuated 
at this point then the signal is provided to this vertical amplifier it is for calibration here is DC balance resistor if we have something wrong here this DC balance null adjustment if it have problem at that time the oscilloscope can display signal either in positive side or either in negative side it must be adjusted to zero in oscilloscope we will find a, this type of component a voltage divider module if we have some problem here in this module it will give problem we will face the same problem we have part number 1776-24 this module is most commonly used in the multimeters oscilloscopes if you see here 1776-24 it have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 pins this is one point two three four five six points in this configuration in this module 1776-24 it is giving 9 mega ohm the second is 900 kilo ohm 90 kilo ohm 9 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm this is precision decayed resistor voltage divider and its voltage value is 1200 volt it is precise and there must be no resistance change in this device but the same problem if we have problem in this module we will find the same problem let's see it resistance it is zero from the rightmost pin that is the common pin we will connect to the first pin it is 2.885 kilo ohm this is the problem in this module how we can fix it we will see it this, it must be 1 kilo ohm as per data sheet as per the manufacturer it must be 1 kilo ohm it is giving 2.885 kilo ohm check the second resistor the second resistor is 9 kilo ohm as we discuss here 9 kilo ohm it is 90 kilo ohm and between this and this it is 900 kilo ohm that's good the last one it is 9 mega that's good the problem here the lowest most pin 1 kilo ohm this resistor is devalued its resistance is increased here the total resistance must be 9 mega and the second is 999 1 1 mega is total 10 mega ohm and if we apply for example we inject a signal 100 volt signal this is common line we apply 100 volt signal and we take output from this resistance multiply with 1000 divide it with 10 mega ohms it must be 0 0.01 volt when we apply 100 volt here we will receive 0 0.01 volt here okay the next from this point to this point we will receive 0 0.1 volt nice and from this point to this point we will we will receive 1 volt and here we will receive 10 volt and the total we will receive 100 volt from this point to this point now if the resistance is changed what will happen now the resistance must be 1 kilo ohm but we have we have 2.885 that means 1885 ohms more than our required value so it is 1 
एट 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 फाइव सो दिस इज आवर टोटल वैल्यू नाउ लेट्स चेक द वोल्टेज विद दिस डी वैल्यूड रजिस्टर नेटवर्क द फर्स्ट नाउ इट इज टू पॉइंट एट एट फाइव किलो टू एट एट फाइव दिस टाइम द वोल्टेज आउट फ्राम दिस पॉइंट जीरो वन प्लेस दिस फर्स्ट पॉइंट इट विल जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू वी कैन सी दिस डी वैल्यूड पोर्शन इट विल प्रोवाइड दिस रीडिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस दैट इज डबल्ड सो इफ वी विल इंजेक्ट दिस सिग्नल हेयर इट विल गिव अ रेंडम वोल्टेज टू द नेक्स्ट एम्पलीफायर नेक्स्ट ए डी सी एन एल आर टू डिजिटल डिजिटल कन्वर्टर एनी प्रोसेसर विच विल कन्वर्ट दिस सिग्नल इन टू डिजिटल सिग्नल वी नीड पॉइंट जीरो वन वोल्ट मैक्सिमम बट दिस टाइम वी विल रिसीव डबल वोल्टेज ड्यू टू दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके इफ यू विल टेक द सेकेंड आउटपुट एट दैट टाइम वी विल रिसीव जीरो पॉइंट वन वन वोल्ट okay this range might be it will not affect too much but this will the most affected range 2885 plus 9000 it is 0.118 volt if you will in inject this signal here it will also give a false reading because the next amplifier will also make false reading and if you will come here plus 90000 we will receive 1.01 volt and if you will take from 900k we will receive 10.01 volt the change here in one resistor that is between this point it will change all the readings all the calculations all the processing it will change everything if you have this problem here if you have a module like this these are also used in multimeters at that time what we will do you have to cut the last pin between any two points if our this resistor is bad either we we can replace it totally or we can change that resistor that is there use a select resistor fix resistor as i have i have here 1001 that means 1 Double zero and last one is one zero, so that means it is one kilo ohm. One double zero one, so it is point nine nine eight kilo ohm. That is very closer to one kilo ohm. If you have a fixed resistor for one kilo ohm, just only we will because our these resistors are good. We will remove this pin from the PCB and we will connect. this resistor here with this pin and we will connect this pin to the pcb so our this resistor will replace the bad resistor in this module just solder it insulate it and install in the pcb it will work the first problem check the voltage divider network if the same problem in multimeter if same problem in oscilloscope either it is analog either it is digital in digital oscilloscopes there are smd resistors uh, fixed resistors check them out if any resistor is devalued replace it then the next stage you have to check the balancing resistor sometime it is mentioned dc0 balance and sometime it is called null and sometime it is named as offset dc offset adjust 
any one potentiometer that is connected in the output of this voltage divider network to give a zero offset if there is some error in any voltage divider that can be compensated here but if we have problem here in one resistor that will not fulfill that requirement at that time you have to adjust this voltage divider again you have to verify you have two channels channel 1 and channel 2 compare the components between both channels channel A and channel B you will find the issue the second thing this operational amplifier if our operational amplifier have something wrong its DC offset is disturbed at that time you need to replace it it have dual power supply positive and negative check these power supplies with respect to ground this these power supplies must be equal if it is 15 volt it must be 15 volt if one power supply is 15 volt the second is 14 volt so the power supply must be the same if we have one power supply 15 volt 14 volt this will not give a good reading if it is using ADC analog to digital converter it will take analog signal and it will give parallel binary outputs then you have to verify the buffer stage here if this offset problem is finished it will give exact reading in some oscilloscopes we can remove this operational amplifier that is called sample and hold amplifier just remove this IC and output of this IC connected to ground it, it will give zero reference to the next circuit to the analog to digital converter so that must be give zero zero voltage I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh